Welcome back to another Tech Depth Repair video. In today's edition, we'll be working on the iPhone 12 Pro. So this is actually a particular case, or if not a common case when battery ages. So when it comes to battery replacement, sometimes like it ages, it inflates and it pushes the screen up. So that's how we were able to determine like without like tearing it down that it needs a battery replacement. So for this type of repair, you need to practice extra caution to make sure once you remove the panel of screws, the best way to like lift the screen without causing any damage because those are XDR screen retina displays. So like it's really prone to have segment lines if you like flex it a bit too much. So for this video, we're going to be using a pry tool and we're going to use a panel up screw as well as a tri-wing screw and a Phillips screws. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First, using the panel up screw, we're going to take out the panel up screw. So using the prying tool, you want to come from this angle and slightly just gently poke. Like go from all angle and poke. You don't want to go like straight underneath you want to make sure like the adhesive gently gets separated from the frame and as we go with it it will lose resistance you can add isopropyl alcohol to help with the process but if you just poke it should come out as you can see the adhesive is loosened up just cut here and from the top i'm gonna also poke make sure like you go underneath it should open like a book so right away we can see that the battery has been heavily inflated due to this puncture right here so they're very fragile and um, usually if you don't replace it in time it will cause uh, long-term damage to the screen so first we're gonna remove the metal bracket holding the battery using the tri-wing screw driver so you want to disconnect the battery immediately to avoid any sort of like short circuit Sometimes the screws, even though like you unscrew it, it doesn't come out the way. So like try to wiggle a little bit. There you go. And then we're gonna move on to the bracket holding the LCD connection. Using a plastic spudger, we're gonna lift it. It has a small hinge. Disconnect the battery first. Then disconnect the LCD connection and the proximity sensor, which is actually <coughs> soldered onto the earpiece pecker okay so for this particular scenario because the battery is already inflated you can always use a flat uh, prying tool like this and because it's inflated it actually is already like kind of weakened the adhesive so you don't really need to add it but if you want to go the extra step it's always good but like this is more like oriented for these special cases like to make sure the repair is efficiently done you can go from here and you can just do like this and it peels away so yeah because like it's already punctured it does cause damage to the adhesive beneath it so that's why like you don't really need to go the extra mile just to make sure you can do the repair fast and your clients are happy and by the way guys if you're looking for any parts or tools check out the link below if you're interested in mail-in repair or data recovery service we offer all those services at techda.com so now we just need to do everything in reverse order okay so after it's connected I'm going to start by <clears throat> putting the LCD. Put back the brackets holding the battery connection and the LCD. And from this point forward, it's like more a reassembly process. So you just need to put back all the tri-wing screws and we're going to test the battery. Okay, so now we're just gonna make sure it closes completely. Perfect. Now all we need to do is put back the panel of screws. So this actually is a two part video. So this client also has a back panel that has been broken, which would be in a separate video. And I suspect the actual uh, cause of the inflation of the battery is because of the cracked back panel. 
And this is something to be like concerned about for repairs because you wanna always make sure the way you do the back glass has to be done in a certain manner where there is not really close contact with the battery and the back glass. So it's just like tiny debris that stay over because I have a feeling she already had it replaced because looking at the missing magnet. So we're gonna have a proper video on how to do a back glass repair. And now let's see if the phone turns on. Okay, there you have it. So that will be it for this video. Leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And with the help of the community, we'll make sure to assist you. Again, if you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at tech.com or click in the link below for mailing repairs or advanced data recovery service. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.